That goat way over at the other end of the field is our first goat, Winnie. And t today is the day on the calendar we have for the, possibly the first day that Winnie could drop her kids for this spring. And it's a little bit suspect that she's way out over there, so I'm thinking that she might be getting ready to drop her kids today. So I just wanted to grab the camera and see see what I could capture. So I'm going to head over there in a little bit and see what's going on with her. She might be having contractions. Yeah, she sure is acting like it. All right, I'll let you know. And then we have four more over here who, that are pregnant, we believe. So we're in for a few weeks of kid mania. And we pray for smooth and safe deliveries. Okay, so Winnie, she's our, the first goat that we got. She's the diva of the herd. She used to be really, really vocal. That's why we called her Winnie, because it was the closest name to Whiny. And she's been kind of acting a little funny, so... Although her eyes are not that not huge, but she looks like she could be having some minor contractions, and she's kind of got... She has some telltale signs that she may be going into labor, but... How you doing, Winnie? Are you in a little pain? Yeah. We'll see. You gonna be alright? She's way out here in the edge of the field, which tells me that she kind of wants to be alone. Maybe to drop her kids, so... Not usually, she's very social generally, so this is a little bit odd for her. But she's chewing her cud, so maybe I'll just check back in a while. She keeps grunting. I, she might be having some contractions. She keeps kind of moaning and grunting. I'm, I'm afraid to walk away, or else I'll come back in 15 minutes and it'll be done. It'll be done. I'm gonna. Look. See if I can uh, see what the interval of contractions is, and maybe that'll tell me something. Mm -hmm. I know. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy, she's starting to have contractions. Mm -hmm. This is just like a, a minute later from the last time I took a video. Mm -hmm. Tuner cuts. So. I'm not sure what just happened. She pushed and then her water must have broken. Because all of a sudden uh, some liquid just gushed out with a, a major contraction. So <clears throat> that must be uh, paving the way for the kids to come out. Did your water just break, Winnie? That's kind of exciting. Huh? Yeah. She seems to like the moral support. I've been her to at least one of her other births and she seems to not mind me being here. I just don't know what that face means. If she's not in labor, I don't know what is. Oh, there he yeah, is. Here it comes. That's exciting. Aww. She's very heavy into it. Definitely more vocal than Hannah was.
Okay. about to drop it. <laughs> Good. You just gotta pat the shoulders, girl. Come on. Pat the shoulders. I know. You're so close, girl. <laughs> So close, girl. Come on. Girl, you mother. Mommy did a great job. Yes. I know, Winnie. I'll get you some electrolytes in a minute. I don't know if there's another one in there or not. Start with mother. can't even imagine. <laughs> Looks like the uh, Nubian traits took over. It has long ears just like your his daddy. Good daddy. <laughs> Here's a few minutes later and she's been licking the little... It's a buckling. It's a 
little bit cold, but um, she's licking him in the sun, I think, is going to warm him up. She keeps scratching the ground, um, <clears throat> which tells me there probably is at least one more in there that she may give birth in, in the next few minutes, but I only have four minutes left. <laughs> the film salt's pretty... I'll have to do a little bit um, bearing on the next one. Good job, Winnie. healthy though, which is good. Thanks for well, here we are about, I don't know, 45 minutes later and I'm go I went ahead and moved uh, moved him to a, a shed because it was getting hot and windy out there. So, But he's he's been suckling. I, I got him off on the teat and now he's trying to find the teat for himself. So he'll do, he'll do that. But he's healthy and strong and when he's much more relaxed now. I thought she might have uh, had another one in there, but I don't think she does. So this is a single birth, and we're so thankful to God for His provision and a healthy and a smooth delivery. And we pray that Winnie and the Buck are beneficial members to our homestead. Good job, Winnie.